High-profile conservative women have turned against Lauren Boebert. Now, this is following surveillance footage of her groping her date during a live performance of Beetlejuice, which, by the way, is a uh, family-friendly affair. Uh, now, the video footage obtained by local Denver news outlet, Nine News, showed you already, shows her being thrown out of the theater with, along with her date after she was vaping, singing loudly during the performance, and more importantly, doing some pretty heavy PDA, which included having her chest grope, as well as her grabbing the crotch of her date during a family-friendly performance. The Broadway League recommends for children 10 and up. So, hmm. Whoopsie. So, yeah, there's a bit of an issue here, okay? Now, representatives for Bobert did not respond to questions about her apparently engaging in this uh, pretty explicit behavior where there were children possibly present or the criticism directed her at her from the LGBTQ plus community, according to an insider story on Saturday. But let me stop here, okay? Uh, this is somebody who claims that the LGBTQ community is grooming children, okay? Sexualizing them by exposing them to pornographic material, books with sexually explicit material in it. And then, oh my God, drag shows, drag shows. Oh no, there's the sore moral. Please, won't somebody please think of the children, protect the children. Wait, hold on, getting caught like this in a family friendly venue where there are children possibly present, that's not just an oops. That's a, it shows that she doesn't actually believe the things that she says she believes, okay? So I'm gonna get to the conservative women who saw this and have called her out as a result. Starting with Ann Coulter, who uh, tweeted this about her being a quote unquote, totally embarrassing bimbo. Oof, ouch. Former President Donald Trump's uh, ex-attorney, Jenna Ellis, also piled on, uh, you know, Bobert, calling her behavior, quote unquote, embarrassing and disrespectful. Let me give you the full uh, quote here. Lauren Bobert getting kicked out of the Buell Theater in Denver for being loud, disruptive, vaping, and video recording uh, after being asked multiple times to stop is embarrassing and disrespectful behavior from a sitting congresswoman. Good grief, Republicans. Do better. Congress shouldn't be a frat house any more than it should be a retirement community. Uh, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> uh, but remember what Madison Cawthorn basically said about Congress. That it is filled with sexual anarchy. Lots and lots of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tallywhacker. So... Cal Cawthorn alleged that there, you know, that, that, that he would be invited by Republicans to cocaine-fueled sex parties. Not long after that, by the way, you all know how the story went. There was some compromising video of him that happened to come out. Hmm, interesting. I'm sure it's not at all related, though. <laughs> I mean, no, no. It, it's a frat house environment. We know it. And I'm sure that there are some Democrats that do it as well. The difference here is they're not running on a platform of family values, protected children. And they're certainly not claiming that trans people are, are grooming your kids. Okay? So, that said, speaking of grooming, uh, what do you think this kind of open PDA does? I, I mean, it teaches kids that it's okay to do that stuff in front of everyone. That's not okay. That's not cool. Don't do it. <laughs> don't you ever do that. Don't you ever do that. I tell you don't do it. All right, so... There's more. Uh, Megan McCain also hit Bobert, saying, quote, Lauren Bobert is trash. She lectures everyone about the LGBTQ, uh, LGBT community being a threat to children while getting caught performing a lewd sex act in a public theater where children possibly were. Now, not only that, but the criticism of Lauren Bobert also misses out on this. Uh, where she had refused to quit vaping near a pregnant woman. This was reported in Insider as well. So now the reason I bring that up is that secondhand vape smoke could cause birth defects in the fetus. It's not exactly a pro-life position if you're, you know, vaping near a person. And by the way, this, this person, she said, 
hey, p- can you please do, uh, you know, stop that. I'm pregnant. It's not healthy for my baby. And she's like, ah, nope, <clears throat> not going to happen. So that said, uh, Bobert finally did fess up to her behavior after denying it for several days. Uh, here's her so-called apology. Quote, the past few days have been difficult and humbling, and I'm truly sorry for the unwanted attention my Sunday evening in Denver has brought to the community. Oh, I'm sorry it made news. That's what she's she saying. And then while also, you know, basically making herself a victim. Oh, it's difficult. Very difficult. Mm. She said, while none of my actions or words as a private citizen that night were intended to be malicious or meant to cause harm, the reality is they did. And I regret that. She then blamed this on her public and difficult divorce, adding that she simply fell short of her values. Mm. So let me be clear. Your, your, your divorce did not cause you to go out and get groped in front of everybody. That, that's, that's not a good excuse for that. <laughs> or to act completely entitled when you were booted out. Again, you were given plenty of opportunity to not do the things that you were doing. You knew that what you were doing was wrong. You know you're not supposed to tape a live, a live show, okay? Uh, you know you're not supposed to do that. You, you were already asked repeatedly not to vape, okay? And again, the, the outrageous behavior of, you know, letting your date pretty much put their hands all over you and, and you doing that at the same time, you knew that you weren't supposed to do that. She did it anyway. I mean, you can't blame that. And I was having a rough time. Look, you want to grow up each other? Do it at home. Not in front of everybody else. I, I, again, this is simple courtesy, but when called out, the big problem is the entitled mentality. Do you know who I am? That's what she said. Do you know who I am? I am connected. I know the mayor. I'm going to go talk to them. No, this is not, this is not the actions or words of somebody who's having a hard time, is going through some things, all right? No, this is somebody who is absolutely entitled. There is no excuse for her doing this and no excuse for her to be lying about it as well. Look, if there wasn't the video, I'm pretty sure she would have absolutely continued to lie and use this as a way to, I think, raise money to play the victim because ultimately... That's who she thinks she is. She thinks that she's the victim and everything. And, you know, in reality, she causes, seems to cause all the problems and the drama in her own life and takes it out on everyone else. That's who she is.